Hey guys, and welcome to The Farm and Pastor's Wife. You know, I've been on a mission to see if healthy can really be tasty. Now, let me put you all at ease. My southern cooking's not going anywhere. I'm going to continue on with my southern cooking, fattening, frying, all that good stuff. But, where I can, I would like to make a few wiser choices. Um, I did notice that Judah's second little birthday party gathering that... Um, I got winded a little bit quicker than I used to, and age is a part of that, as well as my weight has creeped up Ugh, a lot. So, we're going to try again to see if healthy can be tasty. So if you remember, I did a video last week on roasted cauliflower, buffalo roasted cauliflower, and it was amazing. So I know that can be healthy. I don't normally buy cauliflower. I am not a cauliflower fan, but oh my word, the roasted barbecue, uh, buffalo cauliflower was amazing. So tonight, I have bought something else that I don't think I have ever bought ever, 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 ever in my lifetime. Yeah. So I have no clue how this is going to turn out. None whatsoever. But we're going to try it. I have bought for the first time in my life dun, 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 garbanzo beans, otherwise known as chickpeas. I've seen online different recipes for, again, roasted chickpeas or roasted garbanzo beans. And we're going to give it a try. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my can of garbanzo beans. Garbanzo. Garbanzo. I kind of like saying that. Garbanzo. Garbanzo. Anyway, I'm going to take it to the sink. I'm going to drain it in my strainer and rinse it off. Now, a lot of your videos I've watched, I've watched a lot of videos on this. They dry them off. They do all kinds of pa taking paper towels and they get them as dry as they possibly can. I enjoyed watching a video on garbanzo beans by, um, oh shoot, I can't remember her name, but I think the name of her channel is It Don't Taste Like Chicken. And she is a vegan, and she does a lot of healthy recipes. And um, so I'm giving her credit. I don't remember her name, though, but she's cute as a button. She's got the um, just bubbliest personality ever. So um, anyway, I'm going to take this to the sink. I'm going to rinse, drain it, rinse it, and then we're bringing it back here, and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, I just drained them. Um... I've never tasted a garbanzo bean that I know of. Let's try one just right. They smell good. Mm. They're okay. Not bad. Kind of tasteless. But this is what we're going to do. This is a two-step process, okay? So let me get you turned down here. Got my sheet pan here. I've got my garbanzo beans that I have drained and rinsed here and all I'm gonna do is put those out on my cookie sheet I didn't dry them off with a paper towel there's water flakes in here I have my oven set at 375 we're gonna stick this in a 375 um, oven for 30 minutes we're gonna let that dry up the water we're gonna let that um, you know dry them up and kind of pre-roast them and every few minutes I'm gonna come in here and toss them around and shake them just so they're getting dry on the bottom and 
everything. So they're going in 375 for 30 minutes with me tossing them around every 10. I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. Okay guys, it's ready to come out. For the first time, we're, remember this is a two-step process. All right, let's let you get turned down here where you can see them. Let's give one a little taste. Mmm, very good. They're not crunchy yet, but they're a lot drier than they were. So, whoa, I'm shooting them across the room. All right. Let's see here. Let's get them over here. <clears throat> That one went down the wrong way. get this one I shot out over here all right so now what we're gonna add we're gonna add some little seasoning let's get that off of there and I'm gonna start with a tablespoon of olive oil tablespoon of olive oil and I'm just gonna take my spatula here and give it a whirl. Now, you can do anything you want for seasoning. I'm going to start with some salt. Now, the lady I watched, you could stop here and these would be delicious. Salted chickpeas. But the lady I watched, she put chili powder on hers. I thought about putting my good old ranch dressing mix that I put on everything, but I'm a sucker for cool or interesting um, seasonings. And I bought this a while back. It's Weber's Garlic Parmesan. So we're going to give this a try, but you do anything you like. The chili and salt sounded great. Um, you could do gar just garlic and salt. You could do the ranch. And we may try several different kinds, but I'm just going to put a light sprinkling. I'm not going to go heavy because this stuff's pretty potent. And I'm going to stir that up and back on the cookie sheet. They go. Now I'm going to wash and dry my bowl so it'll be ready to put my snack in. We're going back in that 375 degree oven for approximately 15 more minutes. And I'll see you back in 15 minutes. Okay guys, while we're waiting on the chickpeas to come out, let me show you the room I was gonna show you at my last video and I failed to do so. This is the room that um, it's just it's just taken on a life of its own. It's a little bit of everything. It's a room we stuck boxes in that are still in corners that we didn't go through when we moved in. Um, it's got some antiques in here, some knickknacks. It's got a deer in here. It was an office. The kitchen has migrated in here. Um, it's an office. I don't know if I said office. It's Judah's drum room, and this is the room I'm going to be turning into my quilting sewing room. So, let me get the camera flipped around. Okay, guys, let's start in this corner. There is one of Bryant's guitars, and that's um, an 
antique secretary that belonged to my mom. And it is full of her beautiful knickknacks and so forth. I keep my platters, my serving, a lot of my serving platters are in there. Here is some picture framed pictures that I don't know what to do with. Some craft stuff. My nursing bag is back there. Another guitar. Our printer. Our bills that need to be filed. <laughs> ah, for the farm. Um, here we have office supplies. My picture for punch and so forth. And let me pan out just a little bit. And we have Judah's drums there. Here is the desk. That's... The computer, the computer works, but the monitor and the keyboard does not. So I need to get them off of here and make the, this is going to be my cutting table. I'm going to put my cutting mat on this and that's what this is going to be. So this will stay. Um, office supplies, my stethoscope, <laughs> um, Judah's baby picture there, just junk. Some, here we start in with kitchen supplies, my I keep notebooks for everything. Um, a shoe of Judah's. This is Isaac's printer from school. Now here's where the kitchen has migrated in here. This used to be a bookshelf and I purged the books, but then the kitchen stuff started taking over in here because my kitchen's so small, I don't have room. So, and with all this um, pandemic stuff, you know, you bought, some things that you don't, I, you know, I, I stocked up on some things. I didn't hoard. I didn't go, like, buy everything out. Like, I haven't bought the first toilet paper or paper towel since all this mess has started. Um, we always buy in bulk ahead of time and uh, because we supply our home and the farm. So, I've had plenty, and I haven't had to buy the first of any. Although, my paper towels are starting to run thin, but... Um, I think I'm still good on toilet paper. Here are some of the box uh, books that I purged. This is church stuff. These are bo books that Bryant needs to carry to his office at church. Um, some lights for the church. This is all church stuff here. And this is Wilbur. <laughs> this My daddy was a hog farmer, and so I like pigs. As well as chickens, I like pigs. So, um, this is a pig, and this is where we hang our keys. He, Wilbur will probably stay. He keeps me company, or he will keep me company. Let's paint around. It goes into the kitchen there. We have Caroline's beautiful bridal portrait. Wasn't she beautiful? She still is beautiful. It was a glorious day. And here we have, these were my mama's end tables in that room, our living room. Um, when, she, when she lived here, those were her end tables. I'll probably keep them in here because I need the drawers, but I have to find a creative way of placing them. And the couch is going, it's got to go. It's got to go, and then there's another end table. So this is just... A hodgepodge room is soon going to be a craft room. So now you have seen the before. Let me pan back around. This is the before. And I, I will take you guys with me through the process of cleaning it out. Let's go check on the chickpeas. Okay, guys. Here they are. Let's get them in this bowl. I'll wash the bowl. We'll get them back in there. I've let them cool just a little bit. Listen how crunchy they are. Give these a try. 
What do you say? Let's give them a try. Kind of like a corn nut. And like the popcorn kernels at the bottom that are like half popped. Mmm. These are really good. What a great little snack for me to go sit and watch quilting videos. Yeah. I'm getting kind of impressed with my healthy snacks. So far, we haven't had a loser. Cauliflower was a win, 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 win. It was a 10 stars win. And this is a definite win. I gotta save some for the boys, but I don't want to. I don't know how healthy they are. I bought a second pan. Let's see how many. Let's see. Now, I don't know anything about keto and all that stuff. But I know you don't want carbs. And I know that some of the fibers, like, cancel out the carbs or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But there's 20 carbs in the garbanzo beans. But there's seven fibers. So, I don't know. It may not be a good alternative for a keto diet. But it's definitely low fat. No fat. Low calories. No sugars. Very little sodium. I could snack on these. And maybe if you're doing low carb but you want to treat occasionally. I don't know. I know they're pretty good. So. Y'all need to give this one a try. You gotta give the cauliflower a try. Oh. Mercy. That was so good. In fact, I wonder if you can use frozen cauliflower for that recipe. I don't know how it would turn out. The, that recipe was so easy and so delicious. The worst part about it was cutting up the cauliflower. That was the worst part about it, the whole thing. So, I'm gonna try to save the boys some garbanzo beans. But, <laughs> it may not. Alright, I'm going to watch quilting videos. Thank you for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Thank you for joining me down here on the farm. Where if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye y'all.